Only on 41 Action News, a neighborhood parting, way th parting ways with his partnership with KCPD and now asking for changes among the department. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake explains why and the response from KCPD. The Indian Mound Neighborhood Association in the Northeast says it relies on them, the neighbors, to resolve issues in their community. And they don't need to call the police for every little thing. For a long time, I think there's been some over-reliance on KCPD to solve all of our problems. That's why the Indian Mound Neighborhood Association's four-person board issued this letter, saying it will dismantle crime watch groups to create more positive neighbor interactions instead. The board doesn't want community interaction officers to come to every meeting because they say it just turns into a focus on crime. We've been asking the same um, same challenges of KCPD and we've not seen any different results. But when we apply for grants or focus our time and energy on improving our parks, we see immediate return. And that's where we're going to focus our efforts. And so it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what he's talking about, why he's doing this. The board knows everyone won't agree, like former board member Pat Hulse. Yes, you can rely on each other, but not everybody's home all the time. They're working, making a living, and if you need help, you need the police. Indian Mound also issued a list of changes they want the police department to enact, including a civilian oversight board and being transparent about police misconduct. They say this ties into national conversations about police brutality, considering the diversity of the neighborhood. KCPD responded to the letter, saying overall the department has already checked almost everything off this list. They say their community interaction officers have created positive relationships with the neighborhood. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.